Hi guys, it's your girl B. Michelle coming at you with another Dollar Tree. Well, it's going to be a Dollar Tree, Walmart, and Michaels combination DIY. So I'm starting with these um, assorted gems. You can get these from Michaels. I'm also using the round mirrors from the Dollar Tree. And these are the assorted gems. They come in a variety in that pack. And I'm also using these wooden dowels from Walmart. So I'm starting with taking some of the wooden dowels and some of the, the acrylic gems. You can use whatever size um, gem that you desire to use, but I'm using the one that has the point on the top and the bottom. So I'm taking some of the hot glue and I'm going to glue the gem to the two wooden dowels. So it's gonna be like a space in between the two dowels with the gem. And I'm doing this just so I can um, see how to make the holes on the frames, on the mirror frames. So just using some hot glue to glue these two pieces together, three pieces together, and just wanna line those up so I can have the right amount of space to create my holes. So once I have those pieces glued together, I'm using these as a guide to know where to place the two holes that I'm going to use to place the dowels in. So I'll be using my solder gun and you can get these. It's really a wood burning kit that I picked up from Walmart. You can get these from Walmart and I'm using this to make the size, make the hole um, for the dowel to fit into. And you're just going to keep um, working with it until the hole is big enough for it to fit in. So it should look something like this. So I went ahead and I made up um, more of those sticks so I can know where to place it. Now, if you want to just use a ruler and that would be easier if you want to just use a ruler and figure out how many of these that you want to place throughout um, the frame and you can just kind of space it and uh, use the same one to make your holes. But you just want to make sure that every hole that you create is going to fit, that the dowel will fit into the holes. So I just went around and just kind of marked with a marker so I'll know where to place my next set of holes. So once I had it all set, this is how it looks. So I took those out and I'm just showing you guys the frame on how the frame looks with the holes in it. And I'm also using that frame as a guide for two more of the frames. So I'm going to create holes and I'm just using a marker to mark the hole so I can go around with the with the solder gun and create more holes on the other two frames. So it's going to be a total of three frames that I place the holes in. Well, actually a total of four frames that you'll be using, but three of the frames will have the holes in them. So I'm just um, as you can see here, I'm just going in and I'm just creating those holes in those three frames. And then I will take them outside and give them a coat of paint and I'm using the Rust-Oleum uh, Metallic Silver. You can use whatever color uh, spray paint that you desire to use. So the next step is to go ahead and remove those gems. And this is where it would be easier if you wanted to just use a ruler, just make up one set of those with the gem and the two dowels just to have something to make sure that the holes fit. If you want to just do one of those and just measure out around the uh, frame, how many that you want to create, that may be easier because um, the glue was kind of hard to come off that dowel once it was on there. But, you know, I had to do what I had to do to create this. So I just went ahead and pulled the gem off and removed the glue. And then I spray painted the dowels as well. So this is how they look um, once you put a coat of paint on them. And you also want to take those frames and find the holes and line them up exactly the way they were um, created. Like how we used to use it as a guide, you want to line those up because when you get ready to place your dowels in there, you want everything to line up. So I use a marker to just mark the place. So now that I know where everything is placed, I can line the frames up with the dowels. So just going around and just lining those up and placing the dowels on the inside of the holes. And I went ahead and I put the bottom frame on as well. 
the two bottom frames are facing, um, like if the mirrors were in the frames, the mirrors would be facing upward. And the frames on the top, if the mirror were in, the one, the very first one that you see here that's already in there, the mirror would be facing downward. But the one that goes above that will be facing upward. So that's how you will place the mirrors, place the frames um, on this piece. And I went ahead and I secured the bottom layer, the bottom frame with some hot glue on those dowels. Once I had all of my dowels in place, I took some of the glue and these acrylic gems and I placed a dot of hot glue on both sides of the gem and just placed it in between the two dowels. And you can use as many of these gems as you desire to use, use more or less, however you desire to do it. And I'm just following that same um, design and until each dial is filled with gems. And you guys, you can make yours much neater than I can. My glue game sucks, so you guys can make yours much neater. So you just want to continue this pattern. And this was supposed to be like a lamp um, with a, a taller stand. Well, not necessarily tall, but it was supposed to be um, more of a lamp kind of look. But the base that I created would not support this because once I placed all of these gems on there, it made it extremely heavy. Well, it's not extremely heavy, but it made it too heavy for the base of the lamp that I was, uh, that I created. So I know it's not going to support it. So I guess I'll use that in another DIY. So anyway, you guys, um, sorry, I did not put a video out the past couple of weeks. As you can see, I injured my wrist here and I just opted not to um, work with it as much. So I'm doing much better now and I went ahead and created this video, but I am late with actually editing and putting this video out. So, um, so I also use these fairy lights here. This part is optional. I did not like the way mine looked and I actually had another idea in mind. Like I said, it was going to be a lamp. Um, so I started using these lights and I'm just kind of putting these on the inside of the mirror, the mirror that's going to be facing, um, upward on the bottom. So this is how it's looking here. And I also went around the bottom part and added more gems. And I'm not trying to design this any particular way. Just if you want to use these fairy lights on the inside, you can arrange it however you desire to arrange it. I just um, started with the project and didn't finish as well as the top. There was no need for the fairy lights on the top because I was going to use the space. I was going to space the top part as well like with the gems, but I did not use it. So those fairy lights on the top was like a waste for me putting those there. But for some reason, I did not remove them. And I went ahead and just started putting these gems around the top part, <laughs> which you guys, like I said, you guys can make yours much neater than mine. But, um, but to place, if you want to space yours and put the gems around the top, you can certainly do that. But it wasn't working out for me. And I think I should have placed those dowels um, press down. I should have pressed the top um, frame down more so that those dials can sit up just like the bottom is and it would have had something to hold on to for me to go ahead and space those. So I took the battery pack and I placed it in the mirror. Um, I glued it to the mirror that's facing downward. And also with those mirrors, I also used three of the LED lights from the Dollar Tree. I don't know why that video clip is not in here. I could have sworn I recorded that, but I did place um, three of those LED lights on there. You can use whatever type of light that you desire. And I'm using some of these gems. These are the gems by Jot to go around the two frames. Now the two top frames, they're not glued down. So you do have the option to remove these frames. Like if you want to play something bigger on the inside of this, like if you had a bigger candle holder or something that you want to place on the inside that can't fit between the, the, um, the dowels, you can lift up the top and place the top back on. So it's not glued down and you can glue those two frames together. Um, on top. I didn't glue those two frames together. I just kind of went around with the trim 
with the um, jot gems, but you can glue those two frames together and not glue them down to the dowel. So you can remove those. And I also use, if you wanted to use this option, I spray painted a margarita glass and I place it on the bottom of this. It kind of looks like a bird cage. <laughs> so I placed it on the bottom and I went ahead and just wrapped those fairy lights around uh, kind of around the bottom of the mirror, kind of around the top of the, well, the base of the margarita glass. And here's one look. So this is the look with the margarita glass. And I put two birds in there because it reminds me of a bird cage. And we're just going to say this could be something for Valentine's Day as well. With the two love birds here um, in the cage and they're just looking at each other there, but you can arrange just however you guys desire to do it. So it just reminded me of a bird cage. So I placed those two birds there. I also placed um, this candle holder combination that I just glued two candle holders together from the Dollar Tree and also spray painted those as well. So I like the way this turned out. I will show you another look without using the margarita glass. Um, this can be used for like a wedding. It can be used for Valentine's Day. It can be used as a centerpiece or use it however you see fit to use it. So yeah, um, that's just showing the little love birds there. And I will show you the look without the margarita glass uh, coming up. And I'm gonna stop talking and just let you guys see the looks. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel um, and you'd like to see more from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You can also leave me comments and share the video. So that's it for now, you guys. Hope you enjoyed this video and I appreciate you guys, each and every one of you. So until next time, you guys, bye.